Hey guys, Gizbeats here. What we're gonna do is back up and restore our NV RAM today. First, you need a rooted MTK phone. You need to enable USB debugging and you need ADB drivers installed on your PC. You'll also need MTK Droid Tools. What you see, this window here is MTK Droid Tools. If any of what I said confuses you at all, Look in the description, I'll have links on how to do some of the stuff that I just talked about. If you've already got your rooted MTK phone ready to go, make sure USB debugging is enabled, ADB drivers installed, MTK tools extracted, run MTK tools, and then plug in your phone. That's what I'm doing now. It takes just a couple minutes here. And there we go. The information comes right up. As you can see, the first thing you want to do is look down here. We have yellow. What does yellow mean? Yellow means that we are rooted. The SU is found. We are, the phone is rooted. However, we need root shell permissions for this app. To do that, you're going to click this little button right here. Click root. And up pops this little window. You're going to click yes to that. When you click yes, look at your phone. You'll have Super SU pop up asking to grant permission or not. Make sure you grant permission on your phone. So I clicked yes on the PC, and now I'm going to click grant permissions on my phone. And within a couple seconds, this yellow should turn green. I'm looking at my phone right now, and what's happening is MTK Droid Tools is sending the necessary commands to get the root shell permissions, and you see now this has turned green. At that point, you can then click IMEI slash NVRAM. And you see here you have a couple of options, replace IMEI, and what we're actually looking for is backup and restore NVRAM. So at this point, we're going to make sure that both of these are checked. They are. This is the .bin. This is the .tar. And then we're going to click Backup. This only takes a few seconds. It's not a long process. So I click that, and boom, it's already finished. Look over here. It tells you the exact folder where the .bin was saved and where the .tar was saved. At this point, I'm going to show you guys how to restore. Let's say you have an issue with your NVRAM. Well, it's a good thing you have your backup. All right, let's boot MTK Droid Tools again. Connect with USB, and then you're going to click this IMEI slash NVRAM. And again, pops up the window we saw before when we did the backup. But this time, we're going to click Restore. At this point, a window will pop up. It'll ask you, well, which, which file do you want to restore? We want to restore the phone, the .bin that pertains to the phone we're trying to restore for that right now this is currently the THL W200S so that's the file I'm going to select and then up pops another window and this is this is about the .tar and we, we're going to select that here now when you when you click the restore it should automatically direct you to the correct folder if it doesn't, you can just, or if you have it in a different location, just direct it through here to where the .tar and the .bin are, and then open. And now it's going through the process, and boom, we're finished already. It's a very quick process. Here we have the .bin is restored, and here we have the .tar is, is restored in, in the two different places here, two different locations, slash dev and slash data. So then we have both tar and both bind restored. That's it, guys. That's it for this tutorial. It's quick. It's easy. Make sure you do it if you're going to be messing with your phone. All right, guys. Subscribe. Gizbeat over and out.